Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm back with another one of these like organizing or reorganizing my binders and collections. This video will be 100% focused on Luna as I've made a lot of changes in my Luna collection which I also talked about in my last like updating my binders video. So previously I collected Heejin, Chunjin and Jinsel for everything but now I decided to change it up a little bit so for um, like the pre-debut solos, I will be collecting OT12 and for the pre-debut like units as well as plus plus, multiply, multiply and hash. Yeah, <laughs> those three. Um, I will be collecting Jinsel, Heejin, Hyunjin and Olivia Hay. And then for like 12 o'clock and, and the new album, I will be collecting my top three which is, again, Heejin, Hyunjin, and Jinsel. <laughs> that was very confusing. I hope it makes sense. I'll try to, like, put my wish list up on the screen right now just to kind of visualize it a little bit better. And I will also be, like, putting in everything today. Obviously, <laughs> that's what this entire video is about. I have talked about this um, a few times on my channel before. And basically, I have been, like, standing Luna since around the time when Yojin debuted. And I've been collecting them since, I want to say since like Butterfly era was when I first tried collecting them. And back then my bias was Yojin. So I tried collecting Yojin back then, but it was really like difficult to collect like their older stuff at that time. So I very quickly like dropped it again. And then I picked it back up around summer of last year where I picked up Yojin and Jinso, who had like kind of become my bias at that point. Um... But I also really quickly dropped that again because I was like dropping all of my collections at that point. And then like when 12 o'clock or midnight came out, I was like, okay, I really want to collect my current top three. So I started doing that again, but I didn't want to stress myself out. So I just decided that I would be focusing on like the most recent era and then slowly working my way backwards. So I have been very much focusing on 12 o'clock era and I'm almost done. I'm just missing like five cards for my top three. And now that AND has been released, I will of course be mainly focusing on that. But with this new like OT12 pre-debut project, I will of course be going back and like getting some of their albums and getting some of their cards. So yeah, I really hope that I'm making sense. If not, like you'll see, I made placeholders for everything and I will just like show you guys. So yeah, I gave them their own binder. Previously, Luna was stored in my Goku binder, but I thought it was about time that they got their own binder since I will be collecting OC12 for pre-debut. So like, it's gonna take up a lot of space. And this was actually, if you watch my recent video where I set up for Jiho, I actually set up in her own binder. But since I'm not really collecting that much for Jisho, I decided to move her into my Goku binder and then give this binder to Luna instead. I think that would make the most sense. So yeah, I think we should just like get into it. Um, let me organize my table a little bit more. <laughs> so here's everything. Let me put in some pages. I'm just gonna be putting in like all of the ones that I have right here and I can always take them out if there are too many. Once again, I'm not sure if this amount of pages is enough or if it's too much, um, but I really hope that uh, it's fine and that I can just like take out extras if I, you know, need to. So like I said, I have been focusing mainly on 12 o'clock lately and therefore like I have one card for the OT12 project, but I think that's fine for now, like I'm just starting up and I just really want to set this binder up. So first up I have Heejin and she will go in here and I also made these cute little placeholders. I tried something different uh, and like used their colors and stuff and I actually really like it. I know that a lot of people like putting in their like attendance cards. Um, like next to them and I don't know yet if I'm actually gonna do that or if I'm just gonna be using white sleeves But for now, I'm not gonna put in like Placeholders for the attendance cards because I thought that was going a little bit overboard Also, these are like slightly a little bit too big um, So I'm, I have to like push them in <laughs> But yeah, I'm like really excited about this because I love Luna and I've been saving them for so long and 
I'm finally at a point where I actually enjoy collecting them. Like now with the reprints and stuff, it's just become so much more enjoyable. Oh my god. <laughs> they're too big. I thought I had cut them precisely, but no, they're too big. But yeah, I really actually am kind of proud of these placeholders because usually I don't really care about placeholders. I feel like I say this all the time, but I couldn't care less about my like placeholders because I'm gonna like replace them either way. Should I alternate? I think I'm gonna do that because I don't usually do that, but I think it would be fun just for like this. Oh my god, Hassel, I'm so excited for her to like be back. It just really, it hits differently seeing all 12 of them together. Like not having to count every time there's a, a new group photo really just makes me so happy. And I love her lines in the new comeback. Oh my god, like her lines in the title track, I know they're not too many, but like the ones, the parts that she has, my god, I love her. I missed her voice on Luna Track so much. I really hope we get like OT12 dance practices for like why not and so what? That would be that would be so nice. Like <laughs> I missed her. I missed her so much. Oh my god. And she looks great. I'm just so happy. But yeah, I'm just I really love this comeback. I think honestly. It's probably my favorite of their albums because like I love all of the b-sides a lot and it just really hits differently. I did not alternate, did I? Oh, I did. Okay. <laughs> I just had to check. Oh my god, this I love this so much. I'm so excited. Like literally so freaking excited. This is a right. I've been wanting to do this for so long and I'm really happy that I'm actually finally doing it. And yeah, I think I already mentioned this, maybe not, I don't know. But I'm I won't be like caring about first press because like I don't want to make it hard for myself and I'm not saying that you automatically see I already messed it up. Oh my god. I'm not saying that just because you care about first press then you're making it hard for yourself. But if I were to care about first press, I would be making it hard for myself. And I don't want to do that. I just want to have fun with it. And if I were to get first press, it would kind of feel like a chore, I feel like. I also just really love, like, their pre-debut cards. I love the whole concept of, like, the pre-debut stuff. I think it's such a good idea. Even though we do not like Jade and Jung in this house. <laughs> obsessed with just like reorganizing my binders lately and I think if you're like a subscriber of my channel then that is very clear I feel like I've been posting a lot of these and I have a few more in the works not gonna lie so like I've just really I've just been wanting to change up my collection a little bit and I love filming it and I think that's something you guys oh my god I accidentally knocked over the tripod I think it's something that you guys find interesting as well. Like, I personally love watching people just like reorganize their entire collection. It's just so nice and it makes me really inspired. So I hope that you enjoy this <laughs> as much as I do. Hustle and Vivi, and that is one third done with these. Perfect. And then for Kimlip. They're both of her albums here. I will be getting some of their... Okay, these are too big. <laughs> Hold on, let me cut them. I will be purchasing some albums um, once I get my next paycheck. Uh, I have like a video planned for some online shopping as well. And I'm definitely going to be buying some Luna things. So stay tuned for that. And that will like most definitely fill up some of these empty spots. So I am super excited for that, like, I cannot wait for that. Literally, I'm just so excited to be collecting Luna. <laughs> I, we're not even like too long into this video and I feel like I've already said that so many times, but I am just so hyped right now. And this is gonna look so good once it's finished. 
I just, oh my god. <laughs> also, I think I came to the conclusion that Shenzhen is my bias. Because like for the longest time, I was like, I don't know which one of my top three is like my actual bias. But I, I think it's Shenzhen. Yeah, I think I came to the conclusion that for now it's Shenzhen. I really like her a lot. So Shenzhen it is, at least for right now, it is of course subject to change. <laughs> I feel like a lot of Orbits collect OT12 for like these solos and I'm here for it. I love that we're all collecting OT12. Because like it looks so good when it's complete, like, and it's so satisfying as well. So I'm like, like if you're if you want to collect OT12, do it, definitely do it. The way I'm collecting OT12 for both Ice One and Luna now. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Why are they too big? Oh my god. Okay, they're so wonky and uneven, but it's okay. At least they're kind of cute. That's how I'm justifying it. They're kind of cute, you know. Oh my god. Also for Eve. Oh my god. I do not own a burgundy like marker like who does that definitely not me so i ended up just using brown for her and i feel kind of bad um so i kind of need some eve cards just so i can like remove the burgundy or not the burgundy the brown because it's not working out <laughs> but i don't know what else to do because like the only red i have is the one that i used for kim lip and i wouldn't know what else to like use for her so i don't know what to do <laughs> Also, my sleeves or pages aren't really the cleanest, but they are gonna have to do for now. I kind of have to hurry up this video because like I have work in a couple of hours and I need to get some things done before, but I just really wanted to film this because I'm sure this is something that you guys are interested in. Like, if you're like, a, an avid watcher of my channel like if you watch my channel regularly then i don't want to just surprise you next time i do like an update my binder kind of video and just be like yeah now i'm collecting luna ot12 and they're in a separate binder bet you didn't see that one coming <laughs> like i love taking you guys with me on this whole journey thing oh god i hate the brown I hate the brown so much. Also, my gray that I would have used for Olivia is like gone. It just disappeared off the face of the earth. So I have no idea where that went, which is kind of weird because I use it a lot in like my journaling. So like, I have no idea where it went. So all of my Olivia placeholders don't have a color. <laughs> they just say Olivia, hey. My next photo card collection video will probably be in like September. Um, cause like I just filmed one a couple of weeks ago. Is it a month ago at this point? Honestly, I... Time blends together. Time is so weird. But yeah, my next, um... Oh my god, this is also too big. My next photo card collection will be in September and I hope to have them filled out a little bit more by then. Just so I don't have any empty pages. That is definitely the goal. As long as I have one card per page, it'll be good. If not, I'll probably not film it in September. <laughs> Cause like, I hate showing empty pages. It's not fun. But I'm really like excited cause I dropped a lot of boy groups. Um, and it, that doesn't mean that like, I don't love the boy groups anymore. Cause obviously I do. The only thing is like, I just really don't like collecting boy groups. It's not really that much fun for me. Um, so I am right now only collecting NCT, oh my god, 17 Dino. And also I'm only collecting Bacon's like solo stuff. I'm not collecting his EXO album stuff. And obviously it's not because I don't love EXO. EXO are my like old boy group i love them so much but i just i am just not i'm not having too much fun collecting their albums and his like album cards so i'm just not going to because it's my collection and i have to do what's fun for me so from now on i will only be focusing on his like solo album cards and maybe i'll do some like none album for his solo as well just to have it look like a little nice 
nicer and because like city lights is literally my favorite thing like ever <laughs> so i'll probably pick up some of his like non-album cards from that era oh my god that was so bad is anyone else like really horrible at cutting straight like i don't know if it's because i'm gay or what but it just does not I, I i've never been able to do it like you draw me a line i will not be able to cut straightly like following that line i just won't and it's like really embarrassing because i am a grown-ass woman at this point i'm like 19 and i don't know how to cut straight <laughs> it's embarrassing it is so embarrassing does anyone else have that problem or is it just me is it just gay little me not knowing how to cut things straight my god here you can see what i mean by like not having a color for olivia but i feel like out of all of them it like makes the most sense that she's the one who doesn't have a color i don't know because like black it's not her color black is not her color it's like grayish but like this it, it's like the closest that i can do you know so yeah that was it for the ot12 pages then i have the like pre-debut units and for that i will be collecting both of hyunjin's normal cards both of hyunjin's normal cards both of jinsel's normal card and olivia's one card normal card i'm not collecting any limited cards because i'm way too late to that party so i'm not even going to try <laughs> so i think i want to place one third on either side and then olivia in the middle since she only has one card and then Jinsel on either side of her. I really love doing like seven layouts. So this is right up my alley. Wait, <laughs> I did it wrong. Mix and match goes first and then max and match. So first up we have love and live. For Hyunjin, this is also too big. I really thought that i had done these placeholders correctly but apparently not so love and live and then love and evil which is the only card i have for this page and then he didn't cards will go up here so please don't be too big so love and live and no love and evil and love and live there we go and then on to the unit not unit ot12 releases so i will be collecting my top four for these and it just so happens that my top four is in the same like unit for the like plus plus units so this will actually be like a nine layout and I'm gonna be putting the unit in the middle. If I do version A, version A, no, version B. So like A, 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 B, B, B. Yeah, that makes sense because the unit is also in the concept of like version B. So that makes sense, I think. And they're of course a little bit too big. Why are we surprised at this point? I have plans already to like buy the version B because it's like my favorite and I really hope that I can pull like Heejin's because that is just way too cute. Like, I love her version B uh, plus plus card and I know that everyone else does that as well so it's probably gonna be really hard to trade for. Okay, I think that's gonna look really nice. Or at least I hope so, you know? For the next page, I was kind of like trying to figure out what I wanted to do, but I actually think I'm gonna do two pages for multiply, multiply, because I do really want to do like the units, like the limited units. And I know that I literally just said that I wouldn't do the units, but like these are so cute. So I'm probably gonna do these on a separate page. Or I'm just gonna put them like behind and then do like another nine layout. I think that's what I'm gonna do for now. And then like, let's see what I'm gonna 
do like actually okay i just brought you a little bit closer just because i felt like you didn't have to be as far away from the camera <laughs> so i hope this uh, looks nicer so let me put the unit in the middle so like this also if you're curious and you don't really know that much about luna then i am storing them in debut order so from like who had their for had like their solo debut first um and like heejin was the first girl obviously um so i will always be storing her first even though she's one of the youngest of the members that i collect i really like how this looks i'm just like kind of worried about the units on the back oh i did these in the wrong order i'm gonna change that on my own time <laughs> Um, so for Hash, there is no unit card, and I actually have some cards for Hash, not you. <laughs> so I recently got in these Jinsel cards from a friend, so I'm like really excited to actually have some Hash cards, because oh my god, like black haired Jinsel, finally, I'm so happy about that. So I'll be putting the version B here and version A up here. No, wait, this is for uh, Hyunjin. Okay, so version B goes in here, right. And then version A. So that I have version A, 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 and A. My absolute priority card for this era is definitely uh, Hyunjin's like, I think it's version A. It's the one where she has like the cat filter on. That one is so freaking adorable. Like, I love Cat Girl Hyunjin. It's literally one of my favorite things. Like, oh my god, I love her so much. And that card is just incredible. But it's probably also gonna be pretty difficult to find. Another one that I'm like <laughs> really, really excited to get is Hyunjin's version A. That card is so cute, even though it's horizontal. Like, I love it so much. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm so excited. Like, the fact that I have these. Thank you so much, Thomas, for letting me buy these from you. Oh my god. Oh, the backs are gonna look so nice. Oh my god, I'm really excited for that. Okay, so next up, we get into 12 o'clock era, and this is where I stop collecting Olivia. And I'm just back to, like, collecting top three. So for version A, I'm just missing one Heijin card. I'm actually done with Hyunjin's 12 o'clock cards and I'm so excited about that, especially like in time for their new comeback and everything. Super, super excited. For their new comeback, I, I'm obviously collecting like 36 cards since like I'm collecting three members and they have 12 cards each and so far I have 18 cards on the way from like separate group orders so that's like half so I'm gonna need another 18. I will be joining like a few group orders here and there just to kind of help my mutuals and friends like get into fan signs and stuff um, because I'm not really too fussed about buying the albums myself since I obviously joined some group orders and that way I can like save on customs and stuff and it'll, it's gonna be easier for me with um, pools is what I'm trying to say so like I really want to help out like my mutuals so if you find a Luna group order I don't know when I'll be posting this but um, if there's still orbit rings when this goes up definitely send them my way because i would love to join <laughs> for some album cards i'm not collecting pops or anything so you can keep those i just want to join for album cards really just so i can you know get the most pulls <laughs> and get some good pulls right now i think i joined yeah i joined frigos um with two albums in each and i joined like one for Jinsol, one for Heijin, and one for Hyunjin. So I should be getting like a good variety of pulls. I am super excited because like the pulls or the photo cards for this era, they're so stunning. Like they're literally so pretty. I really love the styling. Although for like the um, unboxings that I've seen so far, so many of the photo cards have come damaged like in the albums and they're like super thin 
and it just why why bbc why can't you make them properly like i thought they had made like quite a lot of money recently with everything and like this this entire comeback just seemed like so high budget and apparently it's just not <laughs> and it makes me so annoyed because like if there's not one thing wrong then it's another thing like there's always something wrong when it comes to lunar comebacks and this time it is the um, photo cards in the albums and the like quality of the albums itself. And I'm just so mad about it. Cause it's so typical, like so typical BBC. But at least the songs are amazing. Like I love the songs so much. Then lastly, I just want to flex on y'all. Here, do you see her? Have you seen her? <laughs> if you collect Hyunjin and you still don't have hash brown Hyunjin, this is me sending good vibes your way. I'm sure you'll get it soon. <laughs> if you like this video, you will receive Hashjin Hyunjin within like two months. I am sure of it. Manifest it. <laughs> Use the like button as a manifestation button. I'm just trying to be like a proper YouTuber. I always get so like so uncomfortable asking people to do that. <laughs> so please don't take me seriously. I was just joking. You don't belong here. <laughs> I am so close to being done. Yay. I need another Jinsoul one. Oh, did I not make enough? That's a problem. I think I might be short of one Jinsoul. Um, like a placeholder for my and section. Hopefully it's fine. I'll just put like a white placeholder or something. Jinsoul! I'm literally so happy about my like 12 collection like it's so nice so for this page we have Hyunjin, Hyunjin and we're missing a Jin Sol. that's fine they're all slightly too big <laughs> why why did I not do this properly I really thought that I had the measurements down I think I had to time lapse most of what I just did because my dog was like going off in the background. So I'm really sorry about that. This is the last version, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So this is the version D. I'm just like so happy with this comeback. Like, I listen to the title track all the time. It's definitely my favorite title track of theirs. And like I mentioned earlier, it's probably also my favorite mini. It's definitely competing with like 12 o'clock to be like my favorite of their albums. So, so happy that they did this and I'm really satisfied with the music that came out of this. Oh my god, that was it. Let me take out like all of these. Right, so it's not too interesting, but let me like flip through everything. So yeah, I'm just really excited to be collecting OT12 Luna. It's something that I wanted to do for the longest time and like having set it up just makes it like so much more real and just makes me even more excited, not gonna lie. Like I'm so happy that I decided to do this and that I feel like I can do it. I don't know if that makes any sense. But yeah, I'm just- oh my god. Like, it already looks so nice. I'm just so happy. Um, let me know if you collect Luna, because the thing is most of my, like, most of my channel is just Eyes One. <laughs> so I feel like most of my subscribers are also, like, Eyes One stance. But let me know if you're in Orbit and if you, like, collect any member of Luna, and if so, like, which member? And also, like, if you don't collect Luna, like, who would you collect? Like, who is your bias? How would you- collect Luna. I would love to know. Please just write it down in the comments and let's talk about it. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you've enjoyed all of the videos that I've put out lately where I've been reorganizing my binders and my collections. I really enjoyed doing them and like I said, I have a few more coming so I'm super excited about that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!